Etrachan saw it. This may be sudden, but please listen to my story. Ah! If you don't consider this a tragedy, I don't know what is. My name is Kuroki. When I woke up, for some reason I was in the hospital. Hmm? Um, I... Doctor! He's regained consciousness! Hurry and call his family! Within 30 minutes, my family came rushing in. Kuroki! Are you okay? We were so worried about you. Hey, Dad, what has happened to me? Oh, yes. I'm not surprised you're confused. Kuroki, what I'm about to tell you is true, so listen closely. Okay. Your accident was so bad that it made the news. Doctor, things aren't looking good. I know! Don't die on me, young man! I'll save you! Doctor, how is our son? How is Kuroki? Is he going to be alright? Are you his mother? Please, rest assured, his life is no longer in danger. I've saved his life. <laughs> is that true? However, Kuroki is alive, but it's possible he will remain comatose for the next few years if he's lucky. For his whole life if he's unlucky. That can't be. <laughs> you remained in a vegetative state, and we didn't know when you would wake up. A half year later, you still hadn't regained consciousness. Tokusa, do you think it's time to move Kuroki to a local hospital? It's hard to come all the way to the city to visit him, isn't it? Plus, if Kuroki were to di That's true. We'd have to go to the ward office. We decided to change hospitals. Then something unexpected occurred. Excuse me. Regarding your son's hospital transfer, is his wife planning on staying in his apartment alone? Wife? My son isn't married. Huh. Is that so? That's odd. Your son is married. What? what? It was shocking. We couldn't figure out how this had happened. We ended up going to court in the end. Like I said... Kuroki and I are destined for each other. He drove up in his Porsche and hit on me. An arrogant woman named Yuzuriha showed up. I knew from that moment we were meant for each other. We were passionately in love with each other. Do you believe me? Uh, um... More importantly, who are those two playing the victims over there? Kuroki is the next company president. There's no way he'd have these old country bumpkins as parents. I'd like to call the next witness. Please, come forward. Okay. I'm Hiraki. First, as for Kuroki's car, he indeed drove a Porsche. See? Just like I told you. Will the defendant remain quiet, please? Okay. Well, a Porsche is a Porsche. But in his case, he drove a farm road Porsche. His family were farmers. In our group of friends, we called the small farm truck that his parents drove a farm road Porsche. Huh? By the way, he would share the vegetables his parents gave him with us poor students. We called him the next company president because of that. It's all just a joke, you know. <laughs> the marriage was nullified by the judge. Yuzuriha <laughs> apparently lived in the apartment next door to you. She overheard your friends talking. Your Porsche. Porsche? Thanks, next company president. Next company's president? Is he rich? It's completely absurd. Things were finally settled, but you still didn't wake up. We were so worried that you'd spend the rest of your life like this. However, three years after the accident, you finally have opened your eyes. Just now! Huh? Um, marriage? Three years? What? Ah, I understand this is all difficult to take in, my son. Marriage. Three years. <laughs> What's wrong? You still feel bad? Dad. Mom. 
the sky is blue. While still trying to come to terms with reality, I was successfully released from the hospital. I'm going to rehab every day to try to regain a normal life. However, the effects from the crash were bad, and I'll have to spend the rest of my life taking medicine. I was mostly surprised that my friend had become a normal salary man. Congrats on being released! You've had it rough! Y yeah By the way, why did you crash anyway? I slipped while riding my bike in the rain. What? That's lame. Shut up. I'm telling everyone around me that I slipped on a rainy day, but... Wow. She's so pretty. She's just my type. I wonder if she lives around here. What if she lives in the same apartment building as me? There's no way that could be, though. Ah! No matter what anyone says, this is a tragedy. My name is Sasuji. I hope we get there soon. Today, I'm going back home for the first time in a long time. Of course, I'm happy I can see my parents. There are a lot of people here. I wonder if I can meet them. But... Sue! Sue, this way! Ah, uh, it's been so long. It has. I'm just as happy to be able to see my good friend. I was living alone and had free time, but Yuri was busy raising kids, so we weren't able to meet much. I've been looking forward to seeing her again. That's right, I made that. Do you mean... Super Spicy Topolgi? Yes, we got it. I'm surprised you were able to tell. I had to wear goggles or else my eyes would hurt too badly to make it. Once you make Korean food once, you get hooked, you know? Wow, I'm so excited! No one in my family can stomach spicy food, so usually I make it mild so even kids can eat it. Uh, I've seen the whole family get wiped out by your super spicy curry before. That's right! So for my husband and his family, I make mild dishes. It still feels like there is something missing to me, though. Pardon my intrusion. But today is special! Yeah! You wanna eat now? Go wash your hands and wait for a minute. I've got the pot warming on the stove. I've got some time left before I have to go pick up my daughter, so make yourself at home. Huh? What's wrong? Hey, don't let it burn. Hurry up and bring it out. Yuri? The pokey is gone! What? The whole pot is gone. The pot too? You locked the door, right? Does that mean someone came in? Uh, wait a second. Maybe... Hello? Mother-in-law? Yes, you said she would return the spare key later, right? Did you take the topoki with you? What? Topoki? I didn't take anything. What are you talking about? Akane said she would bring the key back for me. What? Sister-in-law did? Who would possibly... Yuri! Over there! Isn't that it? Huh? Ah! My sister-in-law Akane! She's taking the pot with her and getting into a taxi. Excuse me, please wait. <sighs> what? Th that's Yuri's topogi, right? Please give it back. Right, Yuri? Y yes. Huh? This is mine. Don't get the wrong idea. If you don't have any proof, then stop making basis accusations. But, but Yuri is saying that it's hers. You came to Yuri's house, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I brought this from home, warmed it up at Yuri's house, and I'm bringing it home. Who would do something so stupid? If you keep following me, I'm gonna call the cops. That... would you just listen? Wait! <sighs> Wait! Soup, just give it up. You can't catch them like that. Also, this isn't the first time something like this has happened, so don't worry about it. Seriously, you're always like this. If you forgive her, Akane will keep doing this. Even if she's your relative, she's stealing from you. You can't forgive that. Plus, I really want to eat the super spicy tabulgi! Sue, you really feel strongly about this. That's right. The ingredients were expensive. Let's get it back! That's the spirit, Yuri. If we try hard now, we can eat that delicious tabogi. I think the best way to convince Akane is to talk to her boyfriend. I think my mother-in-law has his contact information. Oh, nice! 
Huh? I kind of took your topogi. Topogi is the dish you always make, right? Yeah, she took the whole pot. The <laughs> pot too? I'm sorry to bother you on your lunch break, but would you talk to Akane for me? Yes, we think that she might listen to you. I see. How many times has she done this now? I've still got some time, so let's head over there and talk to her face to face. Th thank you so much. I wonder if Akane is at home. You weren't living together, right? She's probably at my place. She went to nursery school and picked up my son, and she said she'd make something for him. She doesn't really cook. She couldn't be thinking of giving that topogi to him, could she? What? He's my son from a different relationship, so I think she's trying to be kind in her own way. That super spicy topogi? Eh? It's super spicy? Food that you need to wear goggles to prepare? She would never. To a small child? No way! If it's that spicy, it would look spicy, right? I'm sure she'd taste it first. No way! That's right. She's not that stupid. I brought this from home, warmed it up at Yuri's house, and I'm bringing it home. <laughs> ow, 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 Yuri, stop! I can't, there's no time to waste! That's not something that normal people should eat, let alone a small child! You were going to feed me something like that. We chased after Yuri on our way to Tokusa's house. <sighs> Wait! Slow down! And then... <sighs> Akane, I want to ask you something. Welcome back. What's up? You're early today. He said he liked the meal. Oh, really? <laughs> and he wants me to make it again next week. <laughs> uh, wait, Yuri. Yuri? Wait, when did you... Yuri, calm down. Oh. Whoa, something's wrong. What happened? I don't know. He just suddenly started crying. You don't know? Isn't it the topogi? What's the topogi? That's that dish that you always make, isn't it? Yes, I need an ambulance! I didn't make him eat it. Liar! You hit me when I didn't eat it! Huh? You're saying this is my fault? You're starting to piss me off. You can stay like that for all I care. I could only stand there and watch the psychopath who had lost her humanity. After that, the ambulance came. I don't remember how things ended after that. It was the morning before I realized it. Huh? What? <sighs> I'm still tired from yesterday. Ah, it's Yuri. Wanna go visit the kid in the hospital? Sorry for making you tag along. No problem. How is he? I heard he's doing well. He's going to stay in the hospital for a few more days, but the swelling in his throat has gone down. That's a relief. Tokusa, we came to visit. Yeah! Oh, welcome, you two. T Tokusa, are you sleeping alright? No, actually. I tried some of Yuri's topogi, and I had unbelievable diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm still dehydrated. Is that so? What kind of hell did you experience? Also, I've decided to reconsider my relationship with Akane. I'm sorry she put you and your friend through such trouble. Don't worry about it. Why? <clears throat> You're breaking up with me? I did everything for you. Why? Sis. I wanted to hit her, but I stopped after I saw Yuri trying to comfort what is basically evil incarnate. I'm sure she'll just say, it's fine again. It's fine. See? Huh? Huh? That hurt! What are you doing? Shut up, stupid! Who's <laughs> stupid, you top-knot freak? I've never seen Yuri so angry before. Of course, I've never seen her hit someone, let alone say mean things to someone. It was so shocking, there wasn't anything I could do or say. I left Yuri, but... Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Maybe she was worried about the boy as if he was her own child. I was happy that Yuri, who never stands up for herself, was able to get angry on behalf of others. Hey, Yuri, you've changed a bit. Should I be happy about that? Of course, I'll come back to see you again. Yeah, I think it's kind of a mess this time. 
I have to apologize for getting you involved in this. You came all that way. What? To worry about it. Next time we meet, I'll make sure you get to eat the tapoki. Um, I think I'm good. What? I don't want to go to the hospital. From then on, I never was able to eat the super spicy tapoki I love so much. This is a story from shortly after I graduated university and entered into the working world. Karin, are you ready for lunch? Five more minutes! At that time, I was living alone while repaying my student loans. I was barely managing to scrape by. Welcome! Things were so bad that after work, I worked at a convenience store part-time to make ends meet. Karin, you want an expired lunch tonight too? Oh yes, thank you very much. Sorry about this, sir. No, no. Things are tight right now, right? Don't hesitate to ask for help. Thank you so much. Also, about next month's schedule. I can work any day besides this one and this one. Ah, uh, I have to work today, too. Hey, Karin. I heard the news. Things are rough right now, aren't they? Huh? <laughs> My coworker Akane looked so happy when she started talking to me. <laughs> Akane wasn't very nice, so I had been avoiding her. She lies about her mistakes and pushes her work onto other people. I've never heard anyone say anything nice about her. Um, what do you mean by rough? You're working a part-time job after hours, aren't you? What? How do you know? Maya, your brother, works at that convenience store, too. Huh? You're taking home expired lunches, right? <laughs> what? You have to pay off your student loans, I hear. That sounds so hard. Keep it down! No! What? It's not like you can't have a second job. So what's the problem? If it were me, I don't think I'd be able to stand it. I wouldn't want to eat expired lunches every day. I could never stand to live a miserable life like that. I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> Why do I have to listen to you say something like that? Rage, 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 rage. <sighs> Ouch! <laughs> I was tired of the hard life I was living. I was so bitter, I cried until the morning. <laughs> what? Karin, what's wrong? Oh, morning, Susuji. I just stayed up all night. That's all. <laughs> Are you okay? Hey everyone, listen to this. Hmm? I got engaged to one of our customer's workers. Next spring, I'm gonna quit here and be a housewife. My fiance is, can you believe it? Takusa from a tour company. <laughs> wow, Takusa said to be the next company president. Amazing. Oh. Who does she think she is? Making other people feel bad and then going on to live a happy life? Oh, is that so? I won't forgive her. I don't want Akane to live a happy life. Wow, you're working so hard today, Karin. Later that day, thanks for your hard work. Yeah, you too. Ah, I'm beat. Susuji praised me today for some reason, though. Amazing! Hmm? Is that... Akane? <laughs> <laughs> Is she on a date with her boyfriend? Hmm? That's... not Takusa. Who is that? Could it be her dad? No, they wouldn't be so lovey-dovey. What? Whoa! Oh my, oh my! They went into a hotel? Oh, I took pictures without realizing what I was doing. But... This is a chance! She was so rude to me the other day. I can use this for a small act of revenge. Okay. I then went to a net cafe and made a throwaway email account, Akane's company email address, and wrote an email. If you don't want these pictures spread around, come to work wearing a tube top and a mini skirt under your coat and then take your coat off. No! I felt a little bad about what I was doing, but my grudge was that deep. And send. Karin, good morning. Morning, Susuji. She should be able to read her company email from her phone. Nice weather today, huh? Yeah. Well, what will she do? She's here! It looks like she's wearing it. Oh, 
Will she take it off? Eric! Maybe not. Oh, good morning. Is that a spring coat? Isn't it hot? Eric! Uh. <laughs> huh? I can't! I can't! I can't! <laughs> she ran away! What? What happened? I felt better, but maybe it went a little too far. I felt guilty, so I deleted the pictures without saying anything. However... What happened to Akane yesterday? Who... Who knows? Okay, who was it? Who sent those pictures? Was it you? Grr. Huh? What are you talking about? You're mad at me for blaming you for the mistake found in the documents the other day, aren't you? What are you talking about? Then... It must be you! You're mad that I made fun of you for not being popular with women, aren't you? No? What... What do you mean? Then it must be you! I made you work like that one time and you're upset! What... What is going on? No idea... I wasn't the only one who sent pictures like that, it seems. To put everything together... Someone sent those pictures to Akane's fiancé, and her fiancé broke off the engagement. And... Akane, you seem to be acting quite out of line. Huh? Edgewa Company is one of our most important clients. I'm sure you're aware of this, right? M Mr. President! And now you're harassing everyone. You're fired. Akane was fired and left the company. I felt like I had gotten my revenge, but maybe I didn't. We've been through a lot. Yeah. Because so many people were holding grudges against her. I didn't feel guilty anymore. It was like a storm. Yeah, you're right. I wonder just how much he was hated by everyone. Even Akane couldn't tell who did it, so a lot of people must have disliked her. Let's forget about it. I wonder who actually sent the pictures. I wonder who... Sent those pictures indeed. By the way, I finally got a raise. I was able to quit my part-time job at the convenience store. I did it. My name is Yuzuriha. Recently, Takusa and I registered our marriage. We're both working. We're both really busy, but things are working out well. I really don't understand the problem with mothers-in-laws. Are you being bullied at all? I don't understand them either. When we met the first time, your family all seemed nice. We didn't have a wedding, so we haven't had a lot of time to talk. Maybe this is a problem that only happens when you live together. Could be. We lived our life peacefully until one day. Hello? Oh, mother! Yes, Ariha. Would you like to come have Chinese food with us soon? It would be your family plus you and Takusa. Chinese? Of course, we'd love to. It's a casual restaurant, so don't worry about your clothes too much. I see. Thank you for letting me know. I believed her, but when we arrived... Huh? It looks super expensive. Everyone is dressed up. Huh? Why? I was told casual dress is fine. Oh my, you silly, huh? Why did you come wearing such plain clothes? I told you we were going to a nice restaurant. Huh? I guess young people don't know anything about time and place occasions, do they? <sighs> I guess I need to be more specific in telling you. What? I understand time and place occasions just fine. Just fine. You were the one who insisted this was a casual restaurant. Yuzuriha san, the restaurant is actually quite famous. It might have been better to come in a suit or something. Just be careful next time. They're so nice, it's killing me. You should have checked beforehand. I did, and this was the result. I'm super embarrassed. I'm embarrassed too. Wait, is this that mother-in-law bullying thing? We haven't even talked much. Why? I don't recall doing anything to be hated like this. Whatever. If she's bringing a fight, then it's on. One order of stewed shark fin, please. Huh? Wow, they have spiny lobster chili shrimp. I'll take an order of that and bird nest soup. Of course. Um, Yazeria. Oh, excuse me. I ordered ahead of everyone. No, not that. We booked a course for tonight. 
Is that so? No one told me. But as expected of a good restaurant, they have all the things I wanted to try. Huh? I see. Here's your stewed shark fin. Wow, it looks so good! Delicious! You... Cut it out! You're being ridiculous! I didn't think you were that kind of person. How can you say that? I didn't know your mother was the kind of person who would do something like this. What? What does my mom have to do with this? She told me this was a casual Chinese buffet when she invited me. But it's Chinese, so this morning I called to reconfirm. No, if you wear formal clothes, you'll stick out. Is what she said. I believed her and this is how I'm treated. I've been tricked and scolded by all of you. How could I not be angry? If I don't at least order what I want, then there's no way I could get through the night. Mom, is this true? Well, is it? Um, yes it is. I'm sorry. Yuzuriha, I'm sorry for misunderstanding. Please excuse my behavior. No, no, you don't have anything to apologize for. I'm sorry I had such a bad attitude. No, your anger was justified. As an apology, please order whatever you like today. I'm sorry for getting mad. I'm sorry I misunderstood. You're always so on top of things, I thought something was strange. Mom, you too. Yuzuriha, I'm sorry. And so, the issue was resolved. I was cheerful afterwards, so from then on, we were able to have a nice dinner. My mother-in-law was forced to pay for the very expensive meal. I think maybe I should. No, she has to reflect on her actions. It was quite difficult for her, apparently. From then on, she hasn't tried to do anything. Could it just have been an impulse? I'd like to think so. Mom isn't the type of person to trick people like that. Your family is filled with nice people. I'm relieved. If your mother had gotten angry there, or your family had started threatening me, I would have divorced you immediately. Speed divorce? You really made up your mind quick. Well, there's no use in trying to tolerate that sort of thing with my personality. I like to win fights people pick with me. If you try anything, I'll come at you with everything I've got. As a relative, you'd be super reliable, but as my wife, I'm a little scared. Is it like, the winner strikes first? Or would it be something like, it's not good to put up with things? I see. When our kid gets married, be nice to whoever they marry, okay? Hmm? What? Wait, what are you saying? Aren't you saying? Our kid is probably going to be stubborn and strong-willed. That's... well, I think so too, but... The next year, our first child was born. Oh, baby. Why? You're so strong! I'm home! Our son is growing up so fast and it's just so cute. If he gets married and is taken away from me, I guess I would have mixed feelings about it too. I hope that I can be a good mother-in-law in the future. My name is Yuri. Have fun at kindergarten, Sasuji. Yeah! One day, I dropped off my daughter at kindergarten. Oh? It stopped raining, even though it was raining so hard a few moments ago. It looks like it might start raining soon again, though. Maybe I should go shopping right now, while I have the chance. What was it I needed again? Um, groceries for dinner, which would be... Butter, green onions, bananas, sweet bean jam. Ah, the convenience store should have everything. Convenience stores always have everything. That was what I thought as I headed to the store. I put me and my daughter's umbrellas in the umbrella stand near the entrance. I quickly finished shopping and was just about to head out when... <gasps> what? You've got to be kidding me! My umbrellas were being stolen right in front of my eyes! A uh, umbrella thief! Excuse me? Don't just leave with my umbrellas! What? What are you talking about? You're an only one person. Why would you have two umbrellas? That makes no sense. Stop making stuff up. What? What are you saying? Just please give them back to me. Huh? Let go! I will not! Fine, I'll give you the bigger umbrella. Just please give the children's umbrella back. I'm saying, 
both these umbrellas are mine. Excuse me, this person is a thief. Have her arrested. What is she? Uh, excuse me. Can we please have a conversation in the back? What? No, you're getting it wrong. Those umbrellas are actually mine, man. Causing a fuss here is a disturbance to the other customers, so... Somebody! Uh, uh. Umbrella thief? What a cheap thing to do. Blame. No, that's not true. Everyone around me really believed that I was a bad one in the situation. No, it's not me. It's not... Huh? Oh, it's Yuri. <laughs> What's wrong? Did something happen? Wow, the atmosphere is really intense in here. Talking. What? Susuji's so umbrella? That's the cute one with the kitty, right? With that single phrase, the atmosphere around us changed completely. Mm -hmm. That's right! You've got to be kidding me! My daughter's umbrella has a really cute cat design. Meow! My daughter loves her umbrella and often showed it off at kindergarten. Toko says mommy, look at my umbrella. Isn't it so cute? Yeah, it's super cute. Naturally, the people at the store remember the distinctive design of the umbrella they just saw moments ago. Wait, so that means the one that's in the wrong is... But, isn't it strange that you came alone, but had two umbrellas with you? Huh? I have two umbrellas as well, you know. What? We both just dropped off our daughters at kindergarten. They have a specific rule where parents need to take the child's umbrella after dropping them off and bring back the umbrellas when it's time to take the kids home. Oh. Oh. I see. Yes, that explains the two umbrellas. So, um, could you please explain to me the situation from the very top? What? That is just... I can't believe it. I was surprised myself. I'm so sorry that I doubted you. No, it's all right. Everyone would have thought the same in that kind of situation. No need to bow. Hey, Yuri, what did they look like? If she was with a kid and was rushing around this time of day, it's pretty likely that she was taking the kid to a nearby kindergarten or preschool. That's true. Do a sketch of her face, a sketch. Then you'll be able to show the police. You're right. Do you have some paper? Yes, here you go. I remember she had purple hair and glasses. And she had natural glare going on. I think she kind of looked like this. Uh... Did she really look like this? Well, I can say I'm pretty sure she looked like a human at the very least. What's that supposed to mean? While we were talking, the police finally arrived. Hey! What's up? What's up? So this happened, and this happened. What? No way! This is just uncalled for, man. Do you remember what the suspect looked like? Yes, I did a sketch earlier. Here you go. Do you have any security camera footage I could take a look at? Oh, ah, I completely, completely forgot, forgot about, about that. that. She's fully in frame. Wait, this person. Do you know her? She goes to the same kindergarten as one of my friends. I remember seeing her when my friend showed me a photo before. Yuzuriha, this girl is the absolute worst. The day after my son lost his keychain, Yuzuri had the exact same one on her backpack. Wait, what? She definitely stole it. Don't you think so, too? Um, maybe it's just a coincidence? They sell that keychain everywhere, so you can't be sure. No, no, you don't understand. Her mom, Azumi, is always super cold and rude, too. She's a child of someone like that. I'm sure she stole it. She has a bad reputation, too, and... She was someone who always rushed to conclusions, so I was taking her only half seriously. Seems pretty suspicious. Since we had a suspect and some evidence, I went to the police to file a report. Uh, it would be helpful to have a drawing of the umbrella, right? Um, yeah, in general it would be helpful, but not so sure in your case. What do you mean by that? Here you go! Yeah, just as I thought. After that, I went home for the day. Thank you so much. 
no problem at all. I made a call to the kindergarten where the suspect and her daughter might be attending. Hello, I heard that a girl named Yasuriha attends this kindergarten. Can you please check the handle of her umbrella to see if someone else's name is written on it? Yes, we can check. Give us a moment, please. Yes, it has a different name on it. It says the CG on it, right? Yes, that's right. I knew it. Was there some kind of accidental mistake? We can reach out to Yuzuria's mother later to confirm. No, that's not the case, actually. I explained the sequence of events that happened to the teacher. So that's what happened. We understand. For now, we'll hold on to the umbrella and discuss what we should do with the director. Thank you. They said that the kindergarten teachers would schedule a meet-up with Yuzuria's mom after school. So for now, I went to pick up Susuji from kindergarten. Mommy! So glad it's not raining. And asked Karin to watch over Susuji for the evening. You're a lifesaver. No problem. Honestly, I don't care about my own umbrella. The issue is Susuji's. As long as I can get that back, I don't care. That's when I thought, bud. Finally here. Ah, uh, are you Miss Yuri? Yes, where's my daughter's umbrella? What I was greeted with when I reached the preschool was... I am so deeply sorry. A sincere apology. By the time you gave us the call... No way! For a while now, she's been the type to scribble all over her possessions. And we hadn't realized until it was too late. We're so sorry. If I had noticed earlier, I'm so, so, so sorry. No, don't apologize so much. The one who's in the wrong is... Excuse me, who do you think you're calling me here out of the blue? Also, my daughter came home today without her umbrella. You need to check to make sure she brings it home. What am I supposed to do if it rains tomorrow? Oh, it's this lady, this one. It's all this lady's fault right here. What are you doing here? Hmm? You didn't tell her? If I told her, she wouldn't come, so... Oh. I came to take back the umbrella that you stole! You're not getting away like last time. You chased me here to tell me that? You're the one who stole from me, you thief! That umbrella is my daughter's! Miss Azami, this umbrella has the owner's name clearly written on it. What? My daughter doesn't like to have her name written on things, so I discreetly wrote it under a sticker. The fact that this isn't user Rihas is clear as day to anyone with eyes. <laughs> Miss Yuri has already submitted a police report, and the police have requested that we confirm the situation, since they suspect that there is a high probability you are the culprit. Oh, I didn't know that. Although, we weren't sure what was going on with the strange fax that was sent through. <laughs> Haunted drawing? Anyways, we have confirmed from the conversation earlier that you, Miss Azami, are involved in the incident. <laughs> we'll return the umbrella to Miss Yuri, and for today, you may return home. We will pass on the rest to the police. You're still not done talking? Um, yes, we're done talking. So we're going home, Yasuria. Ah, uh, wait a minute, Mommy. You forgot our umbrellas. Sorry, Yuzuriha. These umbrellas belong to someone else. Your mom, um, made a mistake and handed you the umbrella that belongs to that lady over there. No, teacher, that isn't true. Hmm? Mommy said to me... Oh, it's raining. I thought it stopped already. Good God. Oh, what a cute umbrella. Go ahead and take it, Yazuria. This is this. It's so cute. It's yours. Yes, Surya, because you're so cute, a kind person gave it to you as a gift. That's what she said. What? That's not the only time. Even these clothes I'm wearing right now, and my bags too. Mommy said that nice people gave them to me. Yes, Surya! I told you not to tell anyone. Stupid girl. Whoa! I love you as well. I can't believe you go so far just for an umbrella. A police report. How idiotic. I don't care anymore. Just go and do whatever you want. What does she mean by do whatever you want? After that, mommy? We found out that the stealing didn't stop with umbrellas. 
I told you so. That keychain was definitely my son's. My daughter's clothes too. My handkerchief as well. Even a stuffed animal. After we invited her over once, our Roomba was missing. As the story spread, the police were overloaded with claims from the preschool parents that they were victims of theft as well. Me too. Me as well. I heard that after the incident, Isuria stopped attending that kindergarten for a while. Apparently, the mother and daughter duo haven't been seen in or around their home either. There's rumors that they left the city during the night, but they won't be able to run from the police. I don't plan on withdrawing my police report either. More importantly, the issue is my daughter's umbrella. Um, it's going to be impossible to bring it back to its original form, isn't it? What? It should be fine. It's... it's coming off! I figured that if it's a kid's marker, it should be washable. By scrubbing with water, most of the stains came off, but... There was one small red stain that refused to come out. Honestly, this just can't be fixed. I'm so sorry, Suzuji. The umbrella got a bit dirty. You hate it, don't you? No? Nope. Huh? Mommy, mommy. When I was playing at Takusa last time, when I had Kari watch over you because of the umbrella issue, Takusa's clothes had a tear in them. Yeah? Hey, Takusa. What happened to your clothes? It got stuck on something and ripped just now. Oh no, wasn't that shirt your favorite? That's too bad. Not at all. Huh? When my clothes get torn, my mom always fixed them with a really cool patch. So it's not bad at all. Actually, my clothes get even cooler, so it's great. That's what he told me. So I'm totally fine as well. Look, if I do this, it's so much cuter. Suzuki! I wish it would rain already. Sorry, Tokusa. Thank you so, so, so much. I can say for a fact that I'm entirely grateful for what I have learned from the two of them. My name is Akane. Uh, I'm bored. Mm. I'm a senior in college and had a job lined up after graduation, so I had a lot of free time. Hmm? Twitter? Ah, that social networking app that has gotten popular recently. I'm free right now. I'll try it. I'll put my name in here. Follow. What does follow mean? Who is leading me? Oh, I see. If you follow someone, you can see what that person is doing at the moment. It's not like there's anyone who I really want to know what they're doing, though. Akane, you used my shampoo again, didn't you? It's really expensive, so if you want to use it, buy it yourself. Uh, my bad. The next time you use it, I'm gonna shave your head. Okay. You piss me off. Jeez, when did my sister get so cheap? Uh, I know. I have a good idea. Kari. Oh, here she is. Here she is. <laughs> she was secretly keeping an account. Whoa. She has all of her information from elementary school until college on here. Just how badly does she want people to find her? Well, there is no denying that this is Karin's account. What kind of tweets are she posting? Let's see. In this wide world, just how many people will I be able to meet? I won't be able to meet all 7 billion people in this world. Even so, someday, I hope someone who will approve of me will appear before me. This hope keeps me alive. So please, I hope that special person will find me soon. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? She's posting this emo poetic crap? <laughs> Who does she think will find her when she posts stuff like this? It's so bad. My ribs are... Wait, wait. What's this? This tweet. It's from an hour ago. She thought this up before getting in the shower. And then she came out to yell at her older sister about using her shampoo. She's such a spaz. You can't be a good poet with an attitude like that. This is so funny. What other tweets has she written? Huh? Wait a second. Karin, 
she... She has a boyfriend? And he's actually kind of hot? No way. This account is filled with pictures of him. Alright, I'm gonna kill her. Now that that's decided, what shall I do to her? Maybe I can shave off all her hair. Or not. Ah, oh, I know! I'll write a reply to these poetic tweets. Hmm, she's saying she wants someone to find her, so... I found you! Follow me back! Love, your big sister. <laughs> I can't wait to see her reaction. A few days passed, my sister didn't say anything, nor did she follow me back. So, I decided to ask her about it directly. <sighs> Please find me. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't have to pretend. I found your Twitter the other day. I even replied to you, but you didn't say anything back. I thought you started to hate me or something. No, I really don't know what you're talking about. I understand. Sometimes you just have the urge to tell people these thoughts you have, right? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Okay? I really don't know what you're talking about, but it's pissing me off. Quit it with that face. For the record, I don't have any kind of social media account. Oh? It really seemed that the Twitter account didn't belong to Karin. Then, whose account was this? It's true. This is my profile. It's just like I told you. See? It's your account. No, it's not. Then what is this profile and who is your boyfriend? More importantly, what do you mean you have a boyfriend? I'll shave your head. Why? What about the tweets? What kind of things are posted? If I were asked about the things that money can't buy, before love or friendship, I would say... freedom. Karin, what? Are you an angsty teenager? Get away from me. How many times do I have to tell you before you'll be satisfied? Ugh. This guy. I think I've seen him before. Um... Who was it again? I remember! It's Hiragi! We go to the same university together. About two months ago, he asked me to go out with him. I didn't know anything about him, so I turned him down. He says that he's my boyfriend, but all the pictures on this account are only of him. What? So that means... Shouldn't you report things like this to the police? The police? <laughs> Just leave this guy alone. I don't have time to deal with a loser like this. My sister was impressively tough. After that, at school, Karin... Morning, Karin. Morning. Oh, that's right. Karin, I've heard you're dating Hideki from the economics department. Congrats! <laughs> well, actually, this is what happened. Because of self-proclaimed boyfriend Hideki, word spread throughout the school that the two of them were dating. However, every time Karin was asked about it, she explained the situation and... What? That's creepy! Hideki, who everyone thought was Karin's boyfriend, was labeled as a creepy, disgusting stalker. That problematic Twitter account. I'm bored. Oh, I lost a follower. I wonder who it was. Whatever. Disappeared along with the trust everyone had in Hideki. I'm Yuzuriha. I grew up in a poor family. I mean, we were really, really poor. Oftentimes, we ate grass for dinner. At one point, we didn't even have electricity, Let's gas, eat. or water. Yeah. The four of us spent the night with a single candle. But rumors about my family spread around school. Hey! I heard you're poor! Look at this trash. Smells so bad. My sister and I were ideal targets for bullies. Yes, I can't take anymore. I don't want to go to school. Snap out of it! Can't lose to people like them. Study hard, get into a good company, and marry a nice rich guy. Then we'll see who's laughing. This was my philosophy. Sorry, Dad, but I'm tired of being poor. I'm gonna find me a rich husband. Screw being poor. I worked really hard to achieve this. Then... Yuzuriya's son is so hot as usual. She's so hot. All the guys are crazy for her. I finally made it. I became the girl everyone wanted to be with. But... But is it true that her fiancé left her? Really? She was engaged with that rich guy, right? Why? Did she cheat on him or something? 
What? No way. But I could see her doing that. <laughs> no, you idiots. It was going well, but... Our son told us about your past. You grew up in a family with money problems, correct? You're not good enough for our son. Can you believe it? Ugh, just thinking about it makes me angry. Only one way to deal with this. Airsoft is the best. I love the tension. <laughs> huh? Oh, Takusa-san. Popular with the ladies as usual. Well, I'm after rich guys, so whatever. Did you hear? Takusa's parents, they're loaded. His dad owns a company and he's next in line. Really? That's amazing. Hmm. I see. This changes everything. Her again? She's been aiming at me a lot. Uh, probably just a coincidence. Coincidence. Not! She's definitely shooting at me! What did I do? Um, excuse me. Why are you aiming at me? Here he comes. Huh? Sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, okay. <laughs> the first rule of romance. Make them remember you. It was just a coincidence after all. Afterwards, I started going after him more aggressively. So hot today. Takusa-san, what do you do when you're not playing Aerosol? I shouldn't stare. I like reading, so usually I just spend the entire day in my room. And I play around with my Airsoft guns, too. Oh, I see. <laughs> Why won't he look at me? Hey, would you like to have dinner with me? I caused you trouble the other day. Let me make it up to you. Oh, no, don't worry. No trouble at all. Okay. Ugh. Is he playing hard to get on purpose, or is he just stupid? One Saturday, at your library. Let's check out some new books. Huh? Oh, it's Yuzuriha-san. English? Looks pretty serious. Better not distract her. The next day... Yuzuriha-san! You were at the library yesterday, right? I didn't say hi because you looked really busy, but... What? You saw me? Uh-oh. I barely had any makeup on. Uh, yeah. Are you going abroad or something? Uh, no. This new boss of mine, he's from America. So I was just brushing up on my English. Oh, what a hardworking person. I have a friend from America. Why don't we all grab dinner together? What? Yeah, sure. Later, I started talking with Takusa-san outside the battlefield. Yuzuriya-san, do you like to play other battle royale games? Yeah, I like Knives Out. Nice! I play it too. It's so much fun! Let's play together and talk on voice chat. Sure, let's try it out. Oh no, he's gonna find out I'm a serious gamer. Whatever, I'll be able to talk to him more. Uh, to activate voice chat, go to settings and... Yuzuriya-san! It's me, Tokusa! You're online! Phew! Alright, let's go! On weekends, we played Airsoft, and on weekdays, we played video games. Yuzuri Hassan, you're really good at this. Yeah, I like video games. I don't have a lot of friends that play. Oh, really? My parents didn't let me play as a child, so I got really hooked on it as an adult. Really? Same here. Huh? My parents didn't let me play either. I know what that feels like. Wow, what a coincidence. Yeah, although in my case, we simply couldn't afford it. I was starting to get to know him better. Hello, Yuzuriha! <laughs> this is John, the friend I was telling you about. Hello, John. Oh, he's an online friend. Thanks to John, I made more friends online. Yuzuriha and Tokusa, you guys are such good friends. <laughs> Bye, John. Oh, is that why you guys had matching outfits? By Emma. <laughs> Normies! By Tom. It's just a coincidence. Nice, John. We started meeting in real life, too. Cheers! Yuzuriha, what's your favorite type of cup noodle? Uh, Tom Young Kung. I'm having so much fun. But hold on, my main target is Takusa-san. Fuck it. But... Wanna grab a drink? Just the two of us? What? Slowly but surely, we were getting closer. However... What? I thought you worked with your father. Oh. That's my younger brother. 
I work at a typical company. And my parents' company isn't that big either. I see. It was just a rumor. Turns out his family wasn't that rich. But he's a really nice guy. They like the same stuff, and he's a gentleman too. But I need to find a rich guy. What the? Is that you, Yuzuriha? Huh? Ah! Akamatsu! Oh, it's you! Akane! Wow, it's been so long. Friends? Yeah, classmates. Look at you, you're all pretty and stuff. Is this your client? What? No! No, I asked her out on a date. Oh, really? Well, you might want to reconsider. She's a bit. <laughs> yeah, her family is so poor, they might try to leech off of you. Hey, stop it. You still live in that crappy house? You don't eat grass for dinner anymore, do you? <laughs> Better check your wallet. You might be missing a few bills. Stop it! What's your point? Huh? huh? I don't know about her past, but I don't think she's the type that steals stuff. And she's pretty because she works hard for it. <laughs> Let's go, Yuzuri Hassan. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. It's not your fault. They're the troubled ones. What they said about you. Is it true? We rarely talk about our parents. Ugh. You're not good enough. Yeah, it is. You must be disappointed, right? <laughs> huh? About what? What? Ten beers! I see. So that's why you work so hard at everything. Hard work? I don't know about that, but I just didn't want to lose to others. But you put your mind to it and got things done, right? That's amazing. I respect that. Really? Yeah. Honestly, at first I wasn't sure if you were my type. <sighs> but after all this, I want to learn more about you. Tell me about yourself, if you don't mind. Uh, okay. And after that... Yazaria! The milk! You're spilling it! She's been out of it recently. Let her be. Takusa-san and I went on a bunch of dates after that. And finally... Yuzuriha-san? I really like you. Please go out with me. Of course. You finally asked me out. I wanted to ask you out earlier, but... All my past girlfriends... They cheated on me. I'm kind of traumatized, you know? I even ran into them once! How terrible. But thanks to you, I think I'm over it. Thank you. Over it? What about me? Am I ready to jump in? Then... Tokusa-san? Huh? It was my ex-fiance. Katsura-san, what's up? Yuzuriha. It's been a while. Sorry to call out of the blue. There's something I want to talk to you about. Sorry, I know you're busy. Sure, but what is it? We're finished. I'm sorry for everything. I've been trying to convince my parents, and they finally said yes. We can finally get married. If you still have feelings for me, let's start over. But Katsura-san, when your parents shut me out, you didn't help me at all. But... I had no idea what to do! What's your point? <laughs> Katsura-san, I'm sorry. Yuzuriha? I'm seeing someone. So, I'm sorry. Okay. I wish you all the best, Yuzuriha. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> oh dear. There's nothing to think about. Huh? Where's your poster? Oh, that... She threw it out the other day. Oh, really? So she found someone. More important than money. Hey, use a real sign. What the? Ah! I died! Hey, don't do that, please. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. I really love him. <laughs> ah, again. It happened again. Akane. You're tearing the toilet paper off before the perforated line, aren't you? It's annoying, so please think of the next person before you do things like that. Huh? 
What are you talking about? My name is Susuji. The new girl, Akane, is getting into it with her boss, Azumi. Don't play dumb! You're using the cell closest to the door, aren't you? None of this happened before you started working here. From then on, Azumi started bullying Akane. Akane, would you put away all these documents? However, believe it to me, you're bad at tidying up, aren't you? Akane, your desk is covered in snack wrappers. Are you even working? What? I saw you buying these snacks at the supermarket yesterday. If you eat that much, you're going to get fat. You're not young anymore, so you should be more careful. When you reach the middle ages, you start putting on weight, don't you? I'll start being more careful from now on. The insults are reflecting right off her. She's strong. Jeez, the toilet paper was ripped in a weird place today, too. Akane, if it doesn't bother you, then it's fine, but... Maybe you shouldn't use the first stall anymore. Azumi likes to use that one. Yeah, we don't use it anymore either. What? I haven't been using that one at all. What? Really? Right after I started working, Azumi said, That one is my favorite. Uh, oh. Akane wasn't bothered by the bullying at all, but Azumi's bullying got worse. A rag. Finally. Azumi, good morning. Chief, what's up? Please, stop calling the main branch to complain about Akane every day. I'm not saying bad things about her. I'm just telling the truth. No, things like she won't put away documents and she leaves snack wrappers everywhere are all things you are doing and blaming on her. If you continue to bother the main branch about this matter, I'm cutting your summer bonus. Ah! Everyone is turning me into the bad guy! Akane is the bad one here. I just remembered. We used to have non-preferated toilet paper before, didn't we? Now that you mention it, around the time Akane joined the company, the toilet paper changed to the preparated kind. Which means that Azumi was tearing it herself. Uh, Azumi, good morning. Good morning! Akane, morning. Everyone, listen to this! I'm getting married, so I'm gonna quit working here at the end of June! Wow! Congratulations! Congrats! Huh? Azumi, I only worked here for a short time, but thank you for everything. Every day was so much fun. Um... <laughs> then, in June... I heard that Azumi's bonus got cut. So that's why she's in such a bad mood. Azumi got her bonus cut? That's so sad. Azumi is just going through menopause, probably. Screaming coming from the bathroom. Ah! I can't take it anymore. Why am I the only one who has to suffer like this? Stupid new girl. Give me my bonus back. Stupid new girl. Who could she be talking about? Who else is there besides you? After that, Azumi was scolded by the chief. The next time you pull something, you're fired. I didn't think she was this bad. Me neither. Akane enjoyed working up until her last day. Thank you for everything. You're all such nice people. We think that she'll have no problems after she gets married. My name is Kuroki. I spend my summer holidays helping out at my uncle's farm in the countryside. Kuroki, will you carry that to the warehouse when you're finished? Sure. Farming is a lot tougher than I thought. Ugh, my back is killing me. <sighs> That's refreshing. Have some watermelon. You're really a big help. I'm glad you came. Thank you. I needed a summer job, so thank you. <laughs> we'll pay you well, but we expect you to work well, too. Hey, watch your mouth. My Aunt Yuri was a nice lady that cooked excellent food. My uncle Hiragi had a dirty mouth, but took good care of me. Whoa, it's nice whoa, to be whoa, able to help whoa. them out. I think it might rain tomorrow, so let's collect what we can. It was a peaceful holiday, until that day. Yes, sir! Anything else, uncle? Thanks, we're good over here. There are some pumpkins in the back field, 
Do you mind grabbing those? Sure. It's getting dark, so watch your step. All right, this is it. Back to the warehouse. Huh? A car? Someone's stepping out. This entire area was my uncle's land, and the next door neighbors lived over a hundred yards away. So it was rare to see someone around here at this time of day. Hey, she's taking that! I just picked those! I wonder if my uncle hired somebody. Maybe she's a vendor. But at this time of day? Excuse me. Can I help you? I just picked those. Huh? Uh... Um... Huh? Yikes! Hey! Are you okay? Hey, stupid! What are you doing? Get in, Akane! But the vegetables! Screw it! Let's go! That's when I realized that these people were vegetable thieves. Hey, wait! I grabbed my phone and took a picture of their license plate. And I reported the incident to my uncle immediately. Uncle! Hey, are you finished? Good job today. You must be tired. Have some tea, Kuroki. No, there's a problem. A thief! They tried to steal the pumpkins, then drove off. So they've come here now. What? Actually, for the past few years, there have been multiple farmers getting their crops stolen every year. We should call the police! Well, the thing is, they steal such a small amount each time, it would end up costing way more to get cameras or other kinds of security installed. And everyone has just given up. Uh... <gasps> I got their license plate! Maybe we could catch them with this information? Oh, good job, Kuroki! But that probably won't work. What? They didn't actually steal anything this time, and the police rarely deal with these kinds of attempted cases. Uh... <gasps> But I can't forgive them for stealing what we invested our sweat and tears into. <laughs> we have a general idea of who it might be from all the reports. What? Here are the pictures. Take a look at this picture of the Dutch Ibanas. Oh hey! It's the same license plate number as my picture! I thought so. It was a couple years ago that they moved in when the stealing began. Some people had said they saw the wife, but there was never any proof. What do you plan to do? So we left them alone. But now we know for sure. They're gonna wish I went to the police after I'm finished with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what you're thinking, but you've convinced me. This is one person you don't want to cross. A few weeks passed after he said that, and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. It seemed like he was ready to go in, guns blazing. This is the last one. Here we go. Gah! Looks like you strained your back. Go see a doctor. Ouch! Well, most of the farm work is done, and you were planning on leaving after this week anyways, so I guess the timing wasn't bad. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth. You okay, Kuroki? I agree. So I went to the hospital. Wow, it's crowded. Probably because there are a bunch of old people in the countryside. I'll just take a seat. Oh, there's a seat. Why are all the seats around here empty? This lady, the thief! Hey, you're Hinagi's nephew who's here to help, right? Uh, yeah. Then you should know better than to go anywhere near that girl. Next, Akane-san. Uh, okay. Oh! It's called social ostracism. No need to help her. Social ostracism? What's that? I'm back. Welcome back. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were right. I just strained my back. They gave me some painkillers. Oh yeah, uncle. I saw the thief lady at the hospital. Oh, how was she? Everyone was avoiding her. She seemed a little paranoid. I see. By the way, what's social ostracism? An old lady mentioned it to me. Here. Social ostracism. 
when the members of a community agree to exclude an individual after they break the rules or order of the community. That couple moved in after their grandfather passed away. They own the house, so they can't move out. Kuroki, the countryside network is strong and scary if you disobey it. Even yesterday at the town meeting, Tachibana was invisible. They're ostracized for life. That's a living hell. My uncle went around and told everyone what happened and created this situation. In a sense, it was worse than being legally prosecuted. Jeez, you're so evil. That's pretty scary. No, my uncle is pretty scary. I'm Yuri. I live happily with my husband, Tokusa. It's my dad. Hello? Dad? What? Tsutsuji-san collapsed? What? Tsutsuji-san? Tsutsuji-san is Takusa's brother's wife. Here's your tea. She's a really nice person. She even takes care of her mother-in-law who lives nearby. Fortunately, she was okay. She collapsed from fatigue. Mom's getting weaker, and Tsutsuji-san's been helping around, but... Anyways, could you ask Yuri-san to come by and help out when she can? I've got work during the day, so... Um, so Yuri, can you help us out? Sure, I'm free during the day. Tsuji-san needs to rest. And we live nearby. I'll go there once or twice a week. I'm sorry, you don't need to do a lot, so... Hello? Oh, hello. Sorry for troubling you like this. No problem. Thank you. And so, I started going there every now and then to take care of her. Then, about a month in... Hello? Oh, hey Yuri, is that you? tsuji san you feeling okay? Don't mind that, I heard. You're helping out mom, right? Yeah. What? It must be so hard. You don't have to do this. What do you mean? At first, I had no idea what she was talking about. But after talking with her, things made sense. It all makes sense now. There were some things I didn't get about my mother-in-law. Oh, this value size soy sauce is pretty cheap. But it's too heavy, and my hip hurts too. I wish someone could help me carry it. What are you talking about? You don't need this much soy sauce, it's just the two of you. Oh dear, I don't have enough money. Oh, better give up on a few items then. My hip hurts. Or someone would give me a massage. Why not try out that chiropractor nearby? I want to eat something tasty for a change. I wish someone would take me out to dinner. You always eat good food. You're an amazing chef. Mom is so unique. I didn't think much of it, but... All those things she said? Carry my stuff. Pay for me. Give me a massage. Take me out to eat. That's what she really meant. I didn't notice! Uh, what should I do? What? But I get it now. The thing is... Mm -hmm. Mom's been in a really bad mood lately. You think? It was my fault. But I'm glad you're okay. I collapsed because of all of her requests. Perhaps I cared too much. <laughs> Mom wasn't like this at first. Ouch, my hap. Mom, you okay? Please sit, I'll do the rest. Sorry, Sasuji san I'm gonna head out. Dinner's in the fridge. Oh, thank you. And I fixed Dad's shirt too. He wanted it fixed, right? Oh, Sasuji san But then, she started making all these subtle requests. So thirsty. I'll put on some tea. Oh, the flowers look pretty dry. I'll go water them. I'm craving sushi. Want me to order takeout? And it kept going on like that. Susuji san How can you tell what she wants? Are you psychic or something? Huh? Uh... Um... Thanks? But she never says thank you or sorry. It can get pretty tiring. Yuri, please take it easy. She took advantage of susuji sans kindness. I have to teach her a lesson. Uh, I think you've already done that. But I wasn't gonna do anything that crazy. Ah, my hip. It hurts so much. 
sorry to hear that. I'm out of mail. I see. I feel like hamburgers tonight. Okay. The light bulb went out. Oh. Ugh, why is she like this? She sounds pretty pissed. Why doesn't she just say it? All she has to do is ask. Coming! Ah, hello. Sasuji-san! I came to check up on you guys. Sasuji-san! Sasuji-san! Is that you? Sasuji-san! My hip hurts! My hip hurts! Huh? Uh... Uh... Want me to give you a massage? Sasuji-san! I'm so sorry. I need you. It has to be you. Uh, she cried. Yuri-san, she just doesn't get me. She doesn't listen to me. It's like talking to an alien. An alien? It was nice out today, so I said, what a nice day to do laundry. But she didn't do anything. Uh, looks like she didn't notice. Ah, uh, so that's what she meant by that. She's so... wow. My revenge plot worked on her pretty well, more than I thought. Sorry for everything. Mom apologized to Sasuji-san for the way she treated her. Mom told her husband about everything. Are you serious? I'm sorry, I didn't notice. And the two of them apologized to her again. Today, things are much better. Here's some tea. Thank you. Mom's getting better with her habit of being subtle with requests. I feel like eating something special today. But when it slips out, she rephrases her sentence as soon as she sees my face. I mean, let's all go out to dinner. I must have really traumatized her. Oh well, glad things worked out.